Hey guys, quickie review of a little inexpensive item. These are uh, by the same company that sent me the uh, kind of uh, off name brand GoPro. The uh, the name is Offgo, and uh, they wanted to send me these little uh, lenses for your smartphone for taking pictures to review. And you know, I wasn't 100% sure there was something I really wanted to use, but uh, I figured I would give them a try because you know what, they're like 13 bucks and they may be useful to some people. And they're actually not too bad. I'm kind of a little bit surprised that they are uh, pretty decent. So they come in this really nice little uh, kind of soft carry case. Let's zoom out right here so we can get a better view. And they come in a little, little plastic, or not plastic, a little kind of velvety bag. And it comes with two different lenses. And they have, which is, one of the cool things too, for 13 bucks, these things are actually very well protected. And then they come with little lens caps on top of that. And that's your clip to uh, turn them on. And you have one of these is for um, like wide angle. And the smaller one is for like macro, for taking close up pictures. So ideally what you're doing here is, is connecting this to your smartphone for taking pictures. You have one here for basically close up macro pictures and the other one here for wide angle stuff. Now for me, I do a lot of uh, pictures of my smartphone because, you know, in reality, you know, a lot of these smartphones now are 10 megapixel cameras. They're actually fairly good quality and take fairly good outdoor pictures. So when I'm out in the woods, you know, I do take a lot of pictures. I'm the kind of guy on a camping trip. I take pictures of like everything. You know, so that way I can go back later on and I can identify plants, I can identify trees, um, certain bugs, animals, things like that. Just, you know, the whole learning process, you know, guys, I'm just a huge, huge, huge dork. So these things have pretty good glass on them. They're actually pretty clear. You know, you can see it's got a decent uh, anti-reflective coating and they're threaded along the back here, which I'll show you how they connect is, this is your clip that connects it to your phone. Basically, you're going to pull that and you screw these in. They only go like two turns. And that will connect up to the back of your phone. Of course, I got a old Bushcraft 412. He never plans ahead, this guy. So I got to take my case off my phone real quick. So we can actually make this work. <laughs> All right, so you got your phone. No, we don't want to power off. I'm going to turn on the camera, and basically how this works, you can see we got kind of a double picture here, is you put this over the lens, and it will basically turn it into a wide angle. You can see the difference in the, in that. Now there will be a little bit of ghosting around the edges, but I think that's because I have this rubber thing on. If you were to take that off, it would probably disappear. So you can see this widens up your view quite a bit. Now this can be very helpful when it comes to photography. First of all, when you're doing landscapes, maybe you're on top of a hill or a mountain, you want to get a good landscape picture. You know, maybe you're just out there exploring, guys. You're out there doing something. You want another lay of the land. You can take a picture and include a little bit more of the uh, landscape actually into the picture. Or, you know, sunsets, stuff like that. Maybe you're taking a picture of a rainbow. That kind of stuff will be very handy. Um, another thing is when you're trying to get a picture of something close up that may be a little bigger than what you want to take a picture of. Now taking a picture in kind of a macro mode of something small like this is a piece of cake. But say you're taking a picture of something bigger, I got something handy here like, uh, there we go, like this uh, battery carrier for a flashlight. Now. What this allows you to do is kind of get in there close, but also maintain a wide field of view. And you can actually get pictures of bigger items, especially longer items, so that they will come out and you can fit them into a screen, but still maintain being close up to it. So I've actually found it very handy. Now I do a lot of uh, posting to forums, a lot of reviews on forums as well. And uh, one of the things, you know, of course you have to do is take pictures. And I do take a lot of pictures on my smartphone because my smartphone is actually better resolution than the camera that we're filming with here. So I do tend to take a lot of the pictures with this. And I have found that it is fairly helpful when it comes to taking those pictures because I can when I'm trying to film something larger, especially flashlights. Flashlights are those longer objects 
they tend to fit into a, uh, a screen a little bit different. Um, gun parts, especially guns, you know, where you can take that wide angle, very, very helpful. So guys like you, my viewers, who tend to be doing work with things like firearms, flashlights, all that stuff, it makes it a little bit easier to take pictures. I use this actually to take some pictures of some of the tools. Uh, those, uh, you know, uh, the, the crosscut saw that I had in the video last week. I actually use this to take some pictures of it. It let me get closer to the object, but also maintain that wide field of view. So it was really good in taking pictures to post on, you know, some of the forums I post to about stuff like that. So I found it to be kind of a really useful little item in uh, trying to get nice pictures. It, it did help out a little. Now the little macro guy, which I set down somewhere, is not as useful to me. You know, we got this little guy here. And it's just not as useful, guys. I uh, took pictures with without it. And unfortunately, my, my camera phone, it actually has a really good macro mode. So it's really not necessary. But if you did have a camera that didn't have such a good macro mode, I could definitely see this being helpful. For me, taking this on, taking this off, it seems like I can pretty much get the same pictures with it or without it. But then again, my, you know, the Droid Turbo actually does have a really, really good camera in it. So... It's not so much a problem for me, but it may be for you. It may do better. It may do worse, whatever, you know, but this wide angle lens is actually very useful to me and has really helped because uh, I've been doing a lot of filming and stuff like that lately and uh, having that wide angle to get things, especially like when I'm doing like filming in the garden, pictures in the garden, stuff like that. It's been uh, helpful, helpful getting good close up pictures of larger items like firearms and all that. So I found this thing to be actually very useful and very surprising that I was going to actually use it. I kind of figured this is something I was going to review and then put away and never touch again. But believe it or not, I've actually kind of put it right into my camera bag and it's been something I've been uh, using actually a little bit regularly. I do take a lot of pictures, guys, believe it or not. I actually have a hard drive with about 80 gigs of pictures. I document everything. I have probably 40 gigs of video from camping trips, backpacking, stuff like that. Plus, you know, I keep, I actually, that's not even including this channel. I don't even keep like the reviews and all that, but like all my backpacking videos, camping, hiking, you know, all that kind of stuff. I have a ton of video there. And plus, like I said, I also take a lot of pictures of wildlife, of nature, plants, animals, things like that. I do catalog a lot of those things. And in the winter when I'm getting cabin fever, it's nice to pull out those pictures and, you know, identify some of those trees, identify some of those flowers, or or maybe that strange looking plant I saw along a trail. You know, I can sit down and identify it and learn a lot as I go along without, you know, spending that time actually in the field. So I can walk along, snap a couple pictures, and six months later I can do research and look at these things and, and all that. So very little handy thing and it's definitely something I'm going to continue to use and for that 13 bucks if you're like me and you do take a lot of pictures you catalog a lot of stuff uh, on your adventures this might be something worth looking into it may not work so great with your phone guys that's something to pay attention to your phone may be, not be as uh, good a camera as mine it may be better than mine so in mine this one works really good the wide angle works really good for me and uh, is very helpful but it may not be for you. But just wanted to share that experience and that uh, it is kind of a, a neat little thing for 13 bucks, and it's something that you will probably see here and here on this channel.